Hey everyone, this is David with ESLZ Bikes. Uh, today we're going to be going through the, the display on our all new King's Crown bike and our all new design display. And I hope you appreciate it. I'm going to turn the bike on. Um, there's a raised button here on the power pad and I'm going to push it. And as you're going to see, the, the display is going to turn on. If we look at the display here, we're going to see a lot of radical changes from what our 750Cs have been in the past. We have uh, two batteries now shown in either, vol uh, either the voltage or uh, the percentage um, shown. When one battery is not in use, um, it, it, appears, it, it, it appears in red. And what I really like about it is, is that I'm, I'm old school. Um, I grew up with Camaros and Chevys, and we had speedometers on one side and uh, or RPM on one side and, and miles an hour on the other. In this situation, with these bikes, we have miles an hour um, in, uh, here, and we have pedal assist here, so we can scroll um, our pedal assist. If you notice, I'm using a plus or minus button on the power pad. When, when you're in pedal assist zero, there's no power to the bike. If you need to do any maintenance on it, really just shut the bike off. Then we have a, a very unique feature with our bikes is, is we now can prove to authorities that our bikes are running either class one, class two, class three, or unlimited. In class one, you're limited to only pedal the bike and you can only go to 20 miles an hour you are not allowed to use the throttle. And here we can see the throttle's enabled, but as we'll go through this, we'll see that it's been disabled. This is a, a very outstanding feature um, because as we re uh, grow and wattage of bikes, we want to be able to show authorities that they are in fact um, comply with all the regulations. And a motor can only be rated by the power that's put into it. I can take a 10,000 watt motor and, and make it limited to 750 watts. And it can't be classed higher than that because that's all the power that the motor's receiving or will receive. And through this system, we regulate the power and, and are able to achieve um, uh, the satisfaction of the law. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and, and go into the display now. And I've pushed this, this there's an M button here, it's it marked M and I've, I've, I've hit it twice, and it opens up um, the display. And as I push the button, now it'll jump into the specific items on that menu. And here we see language, of course we're English. System, it could be metric or um, imperial. Imperial is miles per hour American system. Brightness, I, I have this set to max brightness, and then I'm just gonna to toggle down now to back push the menu button and get back up. Auto off, and I'm gonna show you that you can you can vary this. You do have the option of shutting the auto off off. And don't don't ever set it that way. Um, we've got this set up so you can go anywhere from one minute to, to 10 minutes. And uh, so I'm gonna set it at 10 minutes and then I'm just gonna go back. So it automatically shuts off in, in 10 minutes. Then I'm gonna to come to my various screens. If you want to change that to where you have a navigation screen, you then bring that up and what you're gonna see then, um, let me get out of the system so I can show it to you. Uh, you lose the wattage, but what you gain is, is, is arrows. They're gonna to point to go in particular directions. You can tie this system, this, this display in with your um, in with your phone and it gives you various navigation. So we're gonna come back up to, to the little bike symbol. You can set a password um, and when you go to start the bike, it's gonna require you to put a password in the bike before you can operate it. We, we don't set passwords here at the shop, um, but, but I would recommend that you do set a password, but only set your password to your last four digits of your social security number. You're not gonna forget that number. We sold, we, we sold dozens of displays back to guys because they forgot their password. Uh, in this case, I've got it 111, but I have it off. So this gives me the ability to, to sh shut the, the, the password off, 
but still retain the password. We have assist mode levels. Our display here goes up to nine levels, and you can go to five or three. Um, but in either case, I I just set it at um, I set it at nine. Now these are four eight maxes, and uh, to figure my diameter, what I've done is I've set a ruler here, and uh, I am now running this straight across. You're going to see we're at 30 inches. We'll do it again. There you go. It's actually a little more than 30 inches, as you can see. So we want to go ahead and set our wheel size, not at 27, not 28, not at 29, but for the King's Crown, we want to go with 30 inch. That's going to give you the accurate um, speedometer and odometer readings. We can come to battery. Um, the bike comes set that way, and uh, don't change that. Uh, battery indicator. Now, you can either set it for voltage um, or percent. And, and so we'll just go back and take a look at that real quick. And as we can see now, instead of voltage, you got percentage. We're going to go down to, to power indicator. And we can either go with power, current, or off. And so we're going to go with current for a second. Just take a look at that. This would be showing amperage versus wattage. And now we have battery selection. And this is an important discussion that I wanted to talk with all of you guys about. There's no switch that works on the back of my batteries. You can flip that back and forth and all it's going to change is the battery indicator on the back of the, the bike. Um, uh, it's not going to shut the battery off. Don't call me and say my battery's not working because I can't shut it off because we're not going to allow you to shut it off. If you don't want to run that battery, take it out. Bike will run fine. But it's important to understand that with high power, high amp bikes, the batteries just literally begin to almost fry in a single use sense. The, the, you're just uh, firing so much wattage out of that battery that they become extremely hot. And that, of course, wears the battery out very quickly, causes the, the bike to run inefficiently, and does that eventually the voltage sag is not going to allow you to run the bike at sustained speeds. With, it, with our dual battery system, we have a, a, a device inside the bike it's called a battery balancer from a, for a technical point. On the street, it's ca called a battery blender. What it does is it switches from the front to the rear of battery continually. And, 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 and what it does then is, is the front battery or the rear battery is only used half the time. Um, the batteries run much cooler, they're much more efficient, and we get much, much longer life out of them. It, it gives you not only uh, the extended um, run time, uh, but it also gives you, uh, gives you, if one battery goes out, you redundancy, you've got the other battery still to rely on. You don't see, we don't see the voltage sags that we see in a single battery bike. Um, this is, uh, it says voltage equalization work. The battery balancer, if this battery is running 65 volts, and this battery in the rear is 65 volts, when the front battery de depletes to 64 volts, the battery balancer automatically switches to the rear battery and drains it down from 65 to 64 volts. Once they're equalized, it jumps back up to the front battery, drains it down another volt. So you can see that the battery is only being utilized half the time. You can run the, the, the front battery down first and then it goes to the rear battery or vice versa. And, and you can flip it so you just run the front battery or the rear battery. Um, but once again, I'm not going to recommend that. The bike is going to run faster with dual batteries. And then we have the work mode. And this is the important one for you guys. I, I currently have the bike set at is unlimited, but I'm going to go to class one. It says class one now, and 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 so I have to go back, and you can show, you can show the authorities all the crap you got to do, to change, to change, 
um, the settings. So now I have throttle disabled and I'm listed as class one. And so here, um, you can go to class two, that gives you 20 miles an hour with the throttle. Class three, no throttle, up to 28 miles an hour. Or, of course, um, uh, we're out in here middle of nowhere, we run unlimited, yeah, baby. There's a lot to explore yet in the display. We have uh, instructions posted on the website. You can go to the menu bar. Those are the three little lines up on the top of the website. Click on help, then go to videos and manuals, and then from there, you can scroll down and see where we've got the 750C display for the King's Crown. So now we're gonna talk about the motor switch. And it's, you see F, that's front. And if you look here on the display, you can see the front motor. If you go both, it's got both, that's the center toggle. Or if you go rear, it switches to the rear only. So it's just a novelty on the display um, uh, to show what motor it's in. But this is, our, this is our motor selection switch. If you hold down the negative button, you'll, you have your walk mode. If you hold down the positive button for two seconds, it's gonna, you, you saw the lights dim a little bit, and now you have um, what's shown as, as the light on. In the front, we've got a, a single beam headlight and, a, and the rear tail light. Now, if you push this button, you can see here, this is the light pad, light power pad. If we hold this button down, we don't see any additional display here, but we see one here and now what we've got is we've got a dual beam headlight. And so when I'm riding down the road and I got a car flashing at me in the middle of the night because my lights are too bright, all I can do, all I have to do is that my, my first beam is still running. And uh, once they go by, I, uh, I um, turn my light back on. Of course we have turn signal to the right, turn signal to the left, or both of them. This is how I like to ride now. This, oh man, this is like the super most comfortable feeling. No, I'm going down the road with yellow lights flashing saying, get the hell out of my way. And, and the cars coming up behind me, they're, they're more alerted um, than just the tail light. I saw a video of a guy with a, a horn, ungodly loud horn, pull up behind a senior citizen and blast his horn to tell her to get out of the way. I thought I was going to see the lady drop dead. And, 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 and I don't want to have that. So I'm only going to... A non-annoying horn tells people that you're, you're in the way, but it's not going to scare the holy crap out of them. And I uh, hope you enjoy the bike. I know it's, a, it's, it's, it's been such a pleasure in developing it, and it's more pleasure to ride it. And you have a great day. Sells.com. Bye-bye now.